And there's the second set for Patrick Rafter. He levels the match. Yes, there is just too much air in that volley. Federer got under difficult to judge because it swings in. Nice backhand from uh, Federer. Basel is not one of those massive places where we divide them too easily into suburbs, so we'll call them from Basel, both of them. It's a great reach. View in the uh, opening match against last year's finalist Italy in Neuchâtel. Yes, we mustn't leave gaps open like that. He's going to play the topspin backhand, which is legitimate, isn't it? Um, so not really. I'm not that surprised. He certainly seems very comfortable on the uh, on the clay, which is the the obstacle to so many of these players. I came from the that follows it into the net so quickly you've got to come up with something a bit better like that he answered this cup 91 and 96 and coach Yannick Noah to this title in 83 but now works for British tennis A bit of an experience from uh, Federer then. Somebody who's really hitting their ground strokes well, and you know that you can't just trade punches. You've got to go for a bit extra, and you force the error. That is really a forced error, because you're forced into make three set points. To be convinced that this is going to be a top ten player, if he can keep his head screwed on. I have to agree with you. I think his game is very, very big. He's got a huge full as well, where he beats Guillaume Raoult. And he had uh, his Davis Cup debut as well. Yes, he's not used to those coming back. It's getting warmer. I suspect we're into the low 20s. Not that that's hot by an Australian standards. Enough to put his white face cream on. Yes, in slip, slap, slop. You know, put your suntan cream on. <laughs> it's, uh... Well played. The volley from Rafter not quite directed. Well, certainly not deep enough. Look at that. Right back to where Federer wanted it. And uh, now children having uh, legionnaire caps because they are very concerned about the sun. So what Raft is doing with the face cream is, I think, nothing less than he would think consider normal.
Yes. <laughs> what do you call smiling, that? He's smiling about that one. You call it a great semi-finalist here two years ago and finalist at the Italian Open, so in form. He speaks French and that makes a tremendous difference. If they give interviews in French on television here, they're always popular. Oh, what a wonderful shot. Oh, what a wonderful angle. He'll play those for fun in practice. Very seldom do you actually get them in a match. Oh, so well disguised, too. Exactly. No hint that that was coming. Cleaning. <laughs> few minutes with a recap on the day's results. If you want to know what's happened, stay with us. I'll stay with us anyway. That's a good smash. <laughs> Ability to actually make the last point. A lot of players do you get tight at that point? Three match points. Do the job. And in the end, just about right for Patrick Rafter. A good workout, a couple of tight sets. But he doesn't want to spend too long there in the first round if he's serious about winning this title. And he wants to hit some balls to the, uh, to the crowd and the ball girl won't let him. <laughs> Yes, he's taken them now. This is why he's good. He's good for the crowd. He's good for tennis. He understands the deal. He has to relate to his audience, whether they're in the stadium, watching on television, or media that want to interview him. Rafter through to the second round.